What's up, guys? I'm IFBB Pro Travalis Blunt, and I'm here with IFBB Classic Pro Jason Lowe. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So uh, you're 10 weeks out from the Arnold. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Exciting. So let's talk a little bit about that. Now, typically, you've prepped yourself for previous shows, yes? Yeah. But you're doing something a little differently? Never had a coach before, and it was a great learning experience. Uh, but once I got my pro card, I did a couple pro shows, and I realized, you know, to take it to the next level, compete with the best, you know, you need to learn from the best as well, not just continue learning from yourself and miss your own mistakes, but get advice from people that have been doing it way longer than you. So um, I hired Chris Aceto for this. So first time with a coach, completely different type of prep than I've ever done. I mean, a complete U-turn on what I'm used to. So, but it's, it's definitely a learning experience and it's working so far. So, I mean, he knows what he's doing. Now, where did you turn pro? Uh, Junior USA's. Yeah. And where'd you make your debut? <laughs> so I debuted at the Chicago Pro and it was definitely a learning experience. Definitely humbling right after turning pro. It was about a month after earning my pro card. So I just went straight to it and I came in good. I mean, all the critiques I got, I didn't have any negative critiques on me, uh, but I didn't place, you know, I tied for 16th, which is, you know, um, it was just, it everybody was, everybody <laughs> won a national show. I mean, they're all pros. Everyone was great and everyone looked amazing. I mean, there was some top guys that didn't place. So, um, after that, I went to the Tampa pro and did a little better, yeah? Did a little better. I got seventh place there, which qualified me to do the Arnold Classic. So I'm happy that I did, you know, jump into that, even though I might not have been quite ready for the pro stage. I should have maybe taken a little time, but I'm happy I did it because it qualified me for the Arnold Classic now. And now I'm, you know, learning from Chris Aceto and hopefully, you know, shock him whenever I show up with a completely different package. Now, whereas you compete in the classic division now, you were formerly a bodybuilder? I did. I started off, uh, 2015 was my first NPC show. I did the Diamond Classic, and I won the overall as a light heavyweight bodybuilder. And before, before that, I was, you know, an all-natural pro in the NGA, and I, uh, coming over to the NPC, you know, it was intimidating at first, you know, but... <laughs> but when I won the overall, I went straight to my head, and I, and I went straight to Team Universe, okay. and I ended up in ninth place as a light heavyweight at Team Universe. Top and, ten placing. And then they uh, then they announced the classic division, which you know was you know right in my wheelhouse because you feel like this is a better fit for you. Definitely, I I feel with my frame and everything. Which, it's funny because a lot of times I meet people and they, they think I'm a 212 bodybuilder. I met Breon Ansley in, at Nationals in Miami and told him... It's a getting, compliment, I'll take yeah, it. Oh yeah, I was happy. I, he, you know, I told him I was getting ready for the Arnold. He's like, oh yeah, 212, right? I'm like, no, I'm classic, I'll be with you. But they, he's Mr. Olympia, man. I'll take anything I can get from him, that's awesome. So, but uh, yeah, I like the classic division, you know, and it's, it, it's a good fit for the physique but also it's more of an art form I feel you know I do obviously the bodybuilders are amazing you know and they're, they're incredible athletes but I do think there's more of an artistic posing in the classic division now is there a difference in the way that you train for classic as opposed to bodybuilding no not really um, I have of course I've never practiced the vacuum pose or anything like that before in bodybuilding and I've been doing that like crazy because I've never been good at it um, but for the most part, I was powerlifting before bodybuilding. I like to lift heavy. So um, there's certain things like tonight I'm going to be working out shoulders. I don't go crazy heavy on shoulders. They're, you know, they get a pounding when I do heavy chest. They get a pounding when I do heavy back. My rear delts get it. So I focus more on the lateral head of the delt and okay. more supersets and higher reps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but nice. for the most part, I mean, yeah, I do try and focus more on getting that V taper and you know stuff like that but I mean it's not too different from the way I trained with bodybuilding. Uh, if you could offer any tips to up-and-coming athletes what would that be? Just 
basically don't get discouraged by anything, you know? Take everything as a lesson learned. I mean, I did five national shows in a row before I finally got the pro card, you know? And it was just kind of a, 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 yeah, it was a grind. It was a kick in the face every time. I was like one spot away from going pro. And then, you know, two spots away from going pro. I was right there. And it just, every time I was like, I got it at the next one. And then somebody, should, George Peterson shows up, you know? And <laughs> so every time I was right there and, you know, I just had to take it as a lesson learned and push harder every time. Now, when you're not doing this, you're also a trainer? Yeah, personal trainer. Um, I do personal training full time and I work part time in a nutrition store. And then I do some online coaching as well. So that's busy, just busy, busy. Okay. Now, hold on. In addition to turning pro this last year, uh, you had another life change, yeah? It's been a big year. Yeah, I got married November 3rd, which uh, was an adventure in its own because we were originally supposed to get married October 24th in the Caribbean, and the hurricanes came and we had a whole cruise planned up and everything. We had to replan the entire wedding in a month. And we ended up doing it in St. Augustine. It was a beautiful day. Perfect, uh, perfect weather all day long after all the storms and everything like that. So it worked out great. And she's actually, she's prepping for Junior USA's okay. for this coming year uh, in bikini. And she's super motivating, you know. Keeps, keeps me level-headed throughout the whole thing. Let's me know whenever I'm being too cranky or hangry. Right. Puts up with you when you get out of hand. Exactly. Puts up with me, and we'll be put up each other. We'll put up with each other because you know we both are on the diet. So that's uh, you know, got to be pretty interesting. It's it's honestly better when we're both on the diet than if only one of us. Because if I'm on the diet and she brings home Chipotle, we got problems. <laughs> <laughs> but when we're both on it, it's you know we push each other. Wednesday's arms usually. Should have. Monday, Monday or Tuesday, you get heavy chest or heavy back. Those are those are the fun days. <laughs> we destroyed legs yesterday, so. <laughs> How do you like that? You're gripping it like that. I see what you mean. Yeah. I don't have to focus on squeezing the handles and it kind of takes my tricep away from it. And it really is just all the way Yeah. And I go pretty light on the face pulls. If I go too heavy, I start using my body too much. So I really like to focus on the stretch and squeeze there. Set to that real quick, and then hit the, the finisher. So, um, any shout outs you want to give? I uh, definitely want to thank, for one, Flex, Flex Comics, uh, who, you know, awesome apparel line, kind of fitness for us nerds uh, that get our inspiration from Dragon Ball Z or superheroes. Um, been with them basically since the beginning, uh, since before I even got into the MPC. I met them at the Europa in Orlando and just kind of hit it off with the owners. So they've been helping out a lot and they're great people. And then also Bro Activewear, who makes my posing trunks. Um, definitely huge support. So they've been there since I did North Americans in, uh, in 2016. Looks like you have some great people around you. Yeah, definitely. Good support.
Well, uh, can you go ahead and let the viewers know where they can uh, they can reach you? Uh, so Instagram, um, jswole87, J-A-Y-S-W-O-L-L-E 87. Um, and there's a link in there in my Instagram for my YouTube page as well, which I'm just getting started. But that's just Jason, uh, Jason Lowe. Um, and I'm trying to work on getting more content up there, but it's new. Well, you'll have some content for our lift today. <laughs> there we go. Well, look, thank you for joining us, and uh, good luck at the Arnold. Thank you.